also a very cool thing. A sweet, sweet little lady at my master gardener's class brought me these celosias that are supposed to be variegated. Stoked to try those out. Also, super still excited, excited about our Eryngium, Ptodiscus, Rebecca, and Snapdragons that we're getting that are, or that we just got. I had to have an ag inspection for them, so I just got them back and on the rack. So they'll chill in here for a day or so, and then um, I'll move them outside, and hopefully by the weekend we can get them planted. And here's little updates on my cute little pre-sprouts. They're coming along. That's exciting news. So those are dahlias doing their thing. Hopefully we'll get everybody up ready to go here pretty soon. This side was slow to slow to rise, but we'll get there. Yippee! Plants, 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 plants. Howdy everybody. So I'm down here at the flower farm. I'm hanging out with the little mower. I had Forrest drop me off and I'm going to ride it back after I'm done plugging in sprinklers. So we're hoping we've got, when we tried to install the other day, uh, it wasn't the right parts. So we're hoping that we've got the right parts now and that maybe we can, we've got stuff going on this, this evening, but maybe tomorrow we can get the bits plugged in and ready to go. We'll see. So anyway, I just wanted to give you a little update. It's really pretty down here, but it is windy. But look at how pretty. I love this little spot here. There's my big bark pile. That's beautiful to me too. And the big tree pile. Hopefully that gets moved this weekend. But the sky is beautiful and green. And the berries are coming along. Let me switch over and show you the berries. So here's the blackberry patch. It's doing its thing. Um, it's used to getting sprayed over here. Um, so it's going to be extra happy this year because it's got no spray and you can see there's these little, here's the end where you're going to end up getting blossoms and then berries and there is a good amount. So now up at the top of the ridge here, oh, there is a ton and there's already blossoms way back over there in the far, far distance right here. You can kind of see some of the actual blossoms popping out just a few so far. So we find that these are usually ready in July. And at this point, I don't see a reason not to do a U-pick on these because they go way down and around the corner and then over on the other side as well. So we can kind of offer, probably have people sign up and do a scheduling on it so that there's not too many people at once and we'll have to keep track of um, how many there actually is, that kind of thing. So yeah. That'll be a kind of a fun and interesting thing to do. So I'm gonna go plug in some sprinklers now, see how many I can get done. So that when we're ready to do our thing on Friday, we're doing it. All right, wish me luck. Bye.